Hey Meg Toes, this is Vention. I was just reading a, a passage from uh, from Why You Will Always Be the Woman on the Side <laughs> by Ohim Imara, right? Apparently this is designed for like the... Here, hold on. Apparently this is designed for like, uh, written for like the African American community, but it, uh, and it was written a long time ago, but it, it really, uh, has some good migto in here. <laughs> um, he has this, this is chapter eight and he says, uh, um, and it's titled Captain Save Em All Day. But, um, you and I, of course, would call it Captain save <laughs> Um, anyway, the guy was, he says, um, I once saw an episode of Sex in the City in which, has anybody even watched that? I have never watched one episode. <laughs> I knew right from the start that that, I am not the target audience for that show. <laughs> anyway, um, I once saw an episode of Sex in the City in which Samantha had a boyfriend. She was upset with him and had decided that she was going to end the relationship. Samantha was insecure because he was a younger man and did not think she could satisfy him. The younger man tried to ease her mind, but she couldn't or but she didn't want to believe that he sincerely loved her. Uh, she met up with one of her older male friends and left the young man at the bar while she went up to his hotel room. The scene switches and there she is getting screwed doggy style in the mirror. Uh, the guy screwing her was so into it he didn't even notice that she was not enjoying it. In fact, she looked like she did not want to be there. And... The guy's obviously not Migto because he says he asked, I asked my fiance um, if she didn't want to have sex with the man, why did she go to the hotel room with him? And she, she says, the younger man was supposed to save her, she responded. Man, what twisted freaking crazy ass logic is that? <laughs> The younger man was supposed to save her from her own decisions, you know. Okay, but um, uh, of course I had no idea what she was talking about, so I asked her to please elaborate. Uh, the younger guy was supposed to stop her from going upstairs with that man. Uh, that would have been his way of showing her that he cared about her. So basically, he was supposed to, like, what? Throw her in a half Nelson and drag her away? <laughs> and prevent her as an adult, uh, legal adult in the United States from doing what she wants. He was supposed to somehow stop her. And the woman, her little reptile brain, was expecting him to freaking somehow prevent her from acting, from, from being her exercising her agency and um and she she just somehow ex felt that he should have saved her that's some crazy shit guys <laughs> um fiction oftentimes reflects reality uh and apparently this does uh sex in the city it's probably written by a bunch of women anyway um <clears throat> uh let me get this straight he says she dumped him, disrespected him by going uh, to the hotel room with that other dude, and then she expected him to save her, I barked. Uh, yes, that's what Samantha was expecting, my fiancé um, said. I couldn't figure it out for the life of me how a woman would expect a man to save her from a situation like that. The way I felt about it is, if she didn't want to get <laughs> fucked by that man, she shouldn't have gone to his hotel room. In the episode, Samantha was looking for her boyfriend to turn into Captain Sabaho and pull her out of the hotel room. So basically, she gave up her pussy 
because that young dude didn't save her, I asked my fiance. Yes, she responded. Now that was a television show. However, I, I thought about how closely that resembled many real life cases that were out there. Such, man, such a twisted freaking pile of spaghetti those brains are in women. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> um, this was uh, recommended on Sandman's channel, or so I went ahead and uh, purchased a copy from Amazon. So yeah, it's uh, so far so good. <laughs> okay, Meg Toes, I'm out, and don't get married.